This is a demonstration of network project four of CS50 web. It is a Twitter like social network made with Python, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. For the first requirement, new post on the all posts page, there's a text area at the top of the page that allows a logged in user to create a post. So I'll demonstrate that now. I'll press the post button and as you can see there's my new post all of the posts on the all posts page are sorted in reverse chronological order with the most recent posts being displayed at the top of the page for every post there are a few details including the display name of the user their username the timestamp of the post the content of the post the number of likes it has and three buttons including a like button comment button and a share button. Clicking on a username loads that user's profile page and on this page you can see the number of users that this person follows, the number of followers they have and the number of posts that they have created. Just like every page with posts this is sorted in reverse chronological order. Since this is my profile there is no follow button to the right of my display name here but if I go back to the all post page and click on a different profile as you can see, there is now an unfollow button, which I can press, and I can press the follow button now to demonstrate that this feature works. This button will only appear for users that are currently logged in. The following link in the navigation bar takes the user to a page where they see all of the posts made by the people that they follow. So as you can see, these are all the people I have followed on here, and they're all displayed on this following page. This page is only available to users that are signed in. So if I tried to access this page after logging out, I wouldn't be able to. And I'll demonstrate that right now. So if I log out, as you can see, it gets eliminated from this navigation bar. But even if I try to access it via the URL bar, I'll get redirected to the login page. On any page that displays posts, only 10 posts per page are displayed. So if I scroll to the bottom of this page, as you can see, there's a next button. And to the right of that, I see page one of two. So I can press next, go to the next page. And as you can see, I see the posts that are on the following page. Now I can press the previous button and go back to page number one. Users can click an edit button on any of their posts, which changes the content of the post to a text area that is pre-filled with the previous content of their post. So as you can see, I can make a change to this now. I can say, this is an example of an edited post. Press the save button and the post will get updated without the page reloading. For the last requirement of this project, like and unlike, as you can see right here, there are like and unlike buttons. If I press like, the like counter gets updated by one. And if I press unlike accordingly, this counter gets updated once again, and the text changes back to like. Just like the edit feature, this does not require a full reload of the page. It is updated via JavaScript asynchronously. So that's all for project four of CS50 web network. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my final project video.